Runner to keep up with you. Oh, I was late getting off work, late picking up my daughter. Now I'm late for class. Right you get your paper finished? Oh, please, I'm late for that too. I I'll do it this weekend. You should just give an oral. An oral? Stand up in front of people and sweat bullets? I'd rather die. Oh. Nancy, are you sorry. okay? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, pretty woman like yourself should never be sorry. Oh. Come on, let's go. Hey, Dottie. Hey, Nancy. The gas bag came today, fixed your range. Oh, great. <laughs> the kids will love it. They can start cooking again. They already have. <laughs> Lisa, you're scorching up. Hey, I'm I home. I hate a little Ron Bushy inside. Bushy? <laughs> I could play hockey with those babies. They smell good to me. Hey, you want one? No, thanks. <laughs> See what I mean? She's going out to dinner. Got a hot date with Fred. You know, I think we should have a family out in tomorrow. What do you say? We'll go to the fun park. Oh, yeah, maybe Charlotte can come. Sure, sure. Yeah, if the burgers don't kill us. You shut up, Gary. All right. You leave okay. my burgers alone, all right? right? You looking for someone? A uh, gentleman by the name of Brad Holly. Doesn't live here. <laughs> All right, I'll try next door. Hi. Thank you very much. Hey, you have a good day. Thank you. function of the great chain of being at Shakespeare's tragedies. What the heck's that mean? <laughs> I don't know yet. You learn all kinds of stuff when you're in college. Darling, would you help me with this? Well, I ain't going to college. Why do you say that? You can't afford it. Oh, you'll get a scholarship. <laughs> right, Mom? No, you will. You know, it was your daddy's biggest dream to see you in college. It was. Shame on you, Richard Mark Ellard. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm not gonna do that to you, okay. No, it sounds really exciting. They've created a new division, and they are looking to yours truly to run the whole shebang. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. That sounds great. Really? So when do you start? Well, you see, that all depends. Uh, it's back in New York. New York, New York? Same one old Blue Eyes sang about. I always loved that song. Well, you have to go. You think I should? I mean, how can you not go? It's too good to pass, huh? It's a great opportunity. You're right, I have to go. You're going? Not without you. Nancy, marry me. Oh, Fred. If you love me. Oh, you know I do. Well, I mean, the kids and, and, and in New York. My job, my, my school. Mama's health. Would you say yes? You can change your mind later. <laughs> <laughs> wow, New York.
gotta have a double wedding. Oh, we can. Why? You're wearing white. I'm not. Black and white go together. Oh. <laughs> Besides, I told you I haven't decided yet. Oh, come on, Nancy. You can't leave him on the floor forever. You know, one day his knees just gonna give out. He'll crawl away. Yeah, I know. Well, Charlotte, you and me, we'll take a ride on the roller coaster. No, I can't. Oh, no, I'm not Charlotte. I can't do it. I can't. Y'all go. Come on. 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 Well, it looks like he's going to have to. <laughs> what if he dies? Nancy. Honey, just because George died doesn't mean Fred's going to. He's not Superman, Charlotte. He will die just like everyone else. Well, I know that, but it's been six years. It's okay if you move on. It's time you put that white veil on again. Because you deserve it. You deserve to be happy. So what are you crying for? Because I love you and I'm just so glad you found someone. <laughs> you're a little goofball. And you're my cousin, so what's that make you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can go out tonight, you know, just the two of us. Maybe for a last girl's night on the town. A last girl's night on the town. I said maybe. I'm telling I said you. maybe. No, I'm don't calling you say Fred. Fred. You've got such a big head. Uh -uh. don't want any. <laughs> he always does this. <laughs> Gary, be nice. <laughs> Dad ain't nice. Hi, Hi baby. <laughs> you get in here now. Hello, Charlie. Well, Charlie. Well, Charlie. Very nice. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Oh, I smell your fried chicken. I'm so happy. You girls have fun. So how's your hip, Grandma? Oh, good She's still taking her pills, huh? Yeah. You know, your mama, she praise a little harder. Yeah. Yeah? You get out, no, Daddy! You have a good time, you don't worry about a thing. We won't play. Yeah, listen, you're late the day you're born. Bye-bye. <laughs> what's driving me crazy about this reception. I want a country band. Nick wants Bruce Springsteen. His mother wants a swing band. And my daddy says all we can afford is a yodeler. <laughs> well, why don't you just please them all and hire a DJ? Well, that's exactly what we're going to have to yeah. do. But the one thing that everybody agrees on are the centerpieces. They're going to be wildflowers. Oh, I love wildflowers. Me too. They're just Ooh. so simple, you know, but pretty. Oh, this is going to be so perfect, really. You are going to be the prettiest bride in all Alabama. I just want to say I do, you know. I've been practicing those words since I was a little girl. I just want to say them and get on with it. Now, what about you, Miss Cinderella? What you going to do? Just out on Fred or more nights out with the girls? Does it have to be one or the other? <laughs> so is that a yes? Now, don't you think I ought to tell Fred first? Yes! That's wonderful! Oh, my. Oh, Can I help you? Uh, I hope I didn't scare y'all. Uh, y'all have time. Oh, I'm not wearing a watch. You got these Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's 1135. Don't <laughs> you. <laughs> Or I will cut her head off. Now, you listen to me. I'm gonna let you out of the car. Oh. You walk around to me real slow. Do you see what my purse? It's got money in it. You just take it. Take all the money. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. You pay attention. Do it. Do it.
Please be careful. Come on, shut, shut this. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my God. Where are you taking us? Please, let us go. Please, let us go. Shut up. Oh. Hell am I gonna do with a sick bone bitch? Get your head out the window. Oh, oh, oh God. God. Watch it. Oh, God. No! No! Shut the hell up! No! Nancy, you better shut her up. How do you know my name? I know all about you, Nancy. I know your name. I know you go to the university. Do you go to the college? I know where you live. I know where you spray your perfume. I know you got two kids. You got a thing for Fred. You're too smart to get yourself in trouble like this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's because I ain't free. That's why I'm on the Dean's list. I just think you're hurting inside because of something or somebody. I understand that. I know how it feels. Why don't we all just go back to town? Please, Charlotte and me, we're not going to say nothing to anybody about this. Are we, Charlotte? No. No, I promise. You have our word, really. You can count on it, too, because we're, we're Christian women. We're good women. Good women? Now that's a contradiction in terms, man. See, all women are sorry and rotten. No. Not one of you is fit to walk the face of the earth. Get down! Now get out of the car! What? Let Charlie run! If you do, I'll kill her! Oh, Nancy, I can't leave you! No. Okay. Get him! Oh, oh, God. No. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Watch. Watch. Okay. Go away! Now! Let's get them clothes off. Take our clothes off. You damn right! Okay. Run out! Okay, okay. Get them off. Okay. 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 Now let's lose them pantyhose. Please. You want some help? No, no, no. Oh. Don't make me cut off the rest. I might not know when to stop. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. 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 Turn around, turn around. I'm gonna tie you up, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ah. Ah. Get it. No. Ah. no. 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 She's got two kids. They're all she's got in the world. Just do whatever you want to be to let her go. Please. 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 Now that's over. Okay, No! Oh, what? No! What? God! No! Don't worry, Mama. No. Don't do it. I always say no. the best for life. I believe you said anything I want. That's what I like. Accommodate a woman. Here's one of my great uncle Joel and his family. Was he nice? I never met him. Hmm. Are there any pictures of me? Uh-huh. Oh, those might be in another box. Oh, well, just sit down, Mother. I mean, they're, they're, they're probably right in here. Shouldn't you be thinking about going up to bed yourself? Oh, you know, I can't go to sleep till the girls get home. <sighs> they should have been back by now. Probably just bumped into some friends. I wonder.
wonder which restaurant they went to. Do you know where they went? bringing us back. It's gonna be okay. Oh, thank God. He brought us back. Shut up! Get the hell down! Okay. See, I got a little problem, ladies. See, on our trip, I got to know Miss Charlotte here. She got an awful big man. God forgive you for what you did. I won't tell anyone. What? Well, shut up! No, no, no. She, she's not gonna say nothing to any of me. I I sure hate to be taken off the Dean's list. <laughs> Listen up, sir. I, I'm not some kind of a fool. These girls should have been home hours ago. Well, I took your advice. We called every restaurant that we could think of. There's nothing. No, no. They would not have done something like that. Neither one of them. Well, I, I do appreciate that. Thank you. I'll be waiting by the phone. What well, they say? Okay. What are they going to look? Please, please. please. Just one question at a time. But what if they're hurt? Oh, God, I hope they haven't been in an accident. <sighs> Why do you always think the worst, Mother? <laughs> I mean, if there had been an accident, they're going to be all right. Now you. Oh, oh, please, no. Where there's life, there's hope. Come on. Now I need to give me some sleep so we can all party some more. Here you go, detective. Charlotte Park. Charlotte <laughs> Nancy Khan. Yeah. Bad sign, boys. Wasn't no robbery. It's one N. Three, four, seven, eight, one. Come on, say it, Charlotte. Come on, say it. It's one N. Three, four, seven, eight, one. One N. Right. One N. Three, three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. Eight, one. Eight, one. Mr. Howell, Detective Warden here, Birmingham Police. We have located the car. I, I don't care about the car. Where's my daughter? Where's Charlotte? I understand that. But people just don't disappear into thin air. Uh-huh. All right. But will you just please keep some form? Thank you, Detective. Now, they found Charlotte's car. Oh. And, and they're out looking for her. Oh. That's all. That's all. Please, Mary, that, that's all they can do. Uh, we're, we're just going to have to wait. Yeah, well, I'm not going to just just wait here. I'm going to go find them. 
<laughs> Give me your car keys. Gary, you just started Give me your keys, drive. Gramps. Now look, son. Where do you think you're gonna go? Where do you think you're gonna go, huh? Now, no matter where your mama is, she'd want you to stay right here. Right where you are. Don't go, okay? Oh, honey, come here. Come on. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. Scoot your hands up. I think I can get you a Todd. Yeah. Oh. Is this okay? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm sorry. You got No, it's okay. It's okay. Just keep going. Okay. Pretty face. She went to the same school. Oh. That case, two, three months back, uh, University of Birmingham girl, disappeared. Benson, Joan. Got it. There you go. Oh, you did it. Okay. Now listen. When he opens the trunk, I'm gonna pretend your hand is still tied. Then we'll both rush, okay? What about the knife? I can't get us both. I'm gonna make it. Tell Nick I love him. We're gonna be dancing at your wedding. I promise. Nancy, if you don't make it, I'll take good care of Lisa and Gary. We're both gonna make it. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Thanks, Bill. 
Details are still sketchy at this hour. Police have no clues as to the whereabouts of these two Birmingham women whose names are being withheld. Now, they were last seen leaving this restaurant by patrons who think they saw them in this parking lot sometime around 11.30 p.m. Police say the search will intensify. We'll have more as this story develops. Reporting live from downtown Birmingham, I'm Sandy Taylor. Back to you. How you doing, Mama? It's all right now, Nancy. You're safe now. Oh, baby. Kids are fine. They're gonna be up here to see you real soon. You rest now. Five minutes. I'll be in and out. She's in critical condition. What are the injuries? Well, in addition to the concussion and the stab wounds to the breast, she's got pneumonia. And I'm not sure we're going to be able to save her right eye. Pneumonia? From what? Water in her lungs. Apparently, someone tried to drown her. Detective, I think you should hear this. She's trying to tell us something. Nancy, this is Detective Warden from the police. Hi, Nancy. One M three. Anything at all. Hey, Chief. Pull the rest on the Benson case. What did you get? I don't know. Maybe your first, last name. She kept mumbling like something about a D. Well, that's great. I'll just start looking through the phone book. Check this out. License? Her condition, she's going to remember numbers? Well, we'll know soon enough. Detective. Hello, Barbara. Hi. Listen, have you talked to Nancy Cohn yet? That's confidential. Come on, she must have told you something. What'd she say? Look, Barbara, the perpetrator doesn't know that she was found alive. And that's the way I need to keep it. Have you ever heard of the First Amendment? Don't give me that, Barbara. I might have the jump on this guy. But don't you feel you're under an obligation to warn the women of this town that there's a rapist killer on the loose? What about the next victim? It would be a great concert. You know how hard it was to get tickets? Oh. The line wrapped around the block. Oh, man. I'll even pick you up. Man, that's an offer I have a hard time passing up. I'd love to see your work sometime. 
coming with me on the stakeout. Look alive, detective. We got our man. Car is registered to a Richard Mark Eller. Now, who the hell is Dean? Get this. Dean is the Dean. Eller is a student at the university. He's on the Dean's list. He probably got pension too. Oh yeah. We got a serial killer. Oh man, we gotta get a warrant. I just found out that my, my sister's in the hospital. I don't, don't even know which one. And what's your sister's name, sir? Uh, Nancy Kahn. Oh, I'm real sorry, sir. I'm not allowed to release information on that patient. But she's there? She, I mean, she's all right? Um, let me see if I can connect her with the doctor. We hold? reason why your mama didn't come up is because she's got a little cold and they wouldn't let her up but she sends her love and she's thinking about you just about every minute APB on it. Yeah. Look at this. Murder weapon. It looks a lot like Nancy, doesn't it? Let's get to the hospital. Why don't we go out for dinner, huh? We could all use a break. Well, if we're going to do that, I'd like to stop off at the house and look in on Mary. I'm worried about her. I mean, this thing's really done her in. She's about ready to collapse. If she saw Nancy like this, I don't know what would happen. Do you think Nancy believed me about that call?
situation, Mrs. Khan. Security! Security! Two and a half cc's diazepam. You've seen enough. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've got some bad news. We were unable to reconnect the optic nerve. It was just too damaged. Oh. She'll be blind in her right eye. Yeah. Won't we see her? She's just on her way out of recovery now. She should be back in a room shortly. Thank you, Doc. We'll look after her. Thank you. Thanks. Did they get him? He's in jail. God. It's my last day in the tank, Killer. You gonna miss me? That air outside is sure gonna feel good. Mm, tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some fine. Mm. I bet y'all want to make some money on the outside. You ain't said more than five words to me in 30 days. And now you're getting friendly? You got mine. How's a nickel plate at three fifty seven and five hundred dollars cash sound? Hmm? Sounds to me like a hit. Mm -hmm. You talking about a hit, Ellard? Mm -hmm. This evil bitch can put me in the chair. Now, which evil bitch we talking about? Her name is Nancy Kahn. Ain't up my alley. Mm -hmm. I do drugstores, not chicks. I like it 800. 800? Mm -hmm. 800. Mm -hmm. The chair don't kill you, other. Silence, Will. All right, we'll see you now, Alan. I'll see you back on the inside, brother. Mm-hmm. I'll do it myself.
I miss oh. y'all so much. Oh. I, just, I just miss being home. We're so you? glad you're home. <laughs> Gary, you've been stealing the ice cubes again. Oh, oh, let's let's go. To getting on with life. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. Well, so will I. <laughs> I'm already drunk. <laughs> There's no alcohol in there, Grandma. <laughs> well, I feel something anyway. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, no, I'll get it. No, 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 I'll get it. It's my house. Nancy, I'm I'm Barbara Kennington. I'm a reporter. Uh, I just got home. I know. I, I did try to talk to you at the hospital. Yeah, I, I'm with my family. You know, I'd just like to ask you a few questions about your horrible ordeal. Look, I really don't want to talk about anything, okay? Well, we don't have to use your name then. I don't think you heard me. I don't want to talk about it. Well, there must be something that you'd like to say about all this. I mean, I think the women of this town... Have a... Can you talk to me? Is there something I'm doing that's making you uncomfortable? Do you understand why you're here? <sighs> to determine my sanity? Capable or incapable of entertaining that criminal intent. Mm -hmm. What do you think? That's why you're here. Why these two women? I was on drugs. I was on a bench. I had been for four days. Mm -hmm. I was bent. What precipitated the binge? Just move. How do you feel about what you did to these women? What? Well, are you sorry? Are you depressed? Are you happy about it? Do you have any negative feelings? Any feelings of guilt? I had to do over again. I never ever, ever do nothing to lay me in prison cell for the rest of my life. I got, I got these intense emotional feelings about facing four walls. My question is one concerning remorse for your victims, not for your circumstances. My circumstances, Dr. Freud, is a result of one bitch. It wouldn't shut up and one bitch, I wouldn't die. Good night. Good night, darling. Mama? Yeah? Can you leave the light on? Are you scared, honey? Are you? Good night. Has it occurred to you that maybe the kids 
need you to really talk to them. About what? About what happened. The kids are fine, Fred. Well, then, uh, maybe I need you to talk to me instead of About pretending like... What, what do you want to hear, Fred? All the gory details? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? You want to hear about what it's like to have somebody with a knife at your throat? That's it, don't. Is that what you want to know? You want to know what it's like to have your dress ripped off? Don't do this. <laughs> to have some pig filling his hands all over you? Is that what you want? Stop it! Is that it. what you want? Stop it! I can still smell it. No matter how many showers I take. No matter how hard I scrub. He won't go away. Do you know that tomorrow is supposed to be Charlotte's wedding day? They're overreacting. Don't tell me I'm overreacting. There are police stations all over the place. There is there. one car out there, and I'm not going to put my life and the lives of my kids in their hands. I'm sorry, two cops just aren't enough. The panicking's not going to help. The kids are scared to death. I'm going to stay. I'm not going to leave you. Oh, kids, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry. Oh, please. I don't cry, honey. What are you doing here, boy? How the hell did you get out? I need some clothes. And I need some cash. Now, Richard, Mark, Elliot, I have done everything I can to help you, boy, but you just messed up royally. Now, let's just call our buddies down here. Are you nuts, Chip? I got some business to take care of. Now, you're not making any sense here, Mark. That's crazy. I've got to take care of Nancy Card one way or the other. She's indestructible, Shiflet. I've tried more than one way to kill her. They got a case against you either way. But you kill her and they're gonna fry your butt, boy. And I do not like witnessing executions. Now, if you cooperate with me, I might be able to get the state to cooperate with you, but you gotta give me something to work with here. Are, are you saying if, if, if I give you something that you can give to the state, that, that I'll stand a better chance? Well, that would all depend on what you got to offer now, wouldn't it? Come on, let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you. Don't worry, Shifa. You're not my tire.
Now she looks different than I remember. Who is it? Joan Benson. Did about six months ago. Can't remember exactly. When those uppers kick in, hard for sure to say what really happens. Now look at that, Chifflet. You got your good shoes all dirty. Thank you, Detective Warden. Ellard turned himself in. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, oh it's God. great. It's great, Mama. I'm going to go to bed. All right, baby. Come on. Come on. My friend. Hey, good night, champ. Can I sleep with you tonight? Of course, of course. I love you. I love you, too. Good night, Fred. Good night, darling. Sweet dreams. Too. Strange, huh? What? And he would turn himself in? Oh, I'm just glad. Hey, me too. Now I better get going. Fred, thanks a lot. Good night. That'll be fine. I got such butterflies in my stomach. Good, good. That's normal. I know, I know. I, I, I got to go through with this. And remember, the prosecution is on your side. They coached you. Don't let the defense confuse you. Take a hole. Move it, boy. Now's your chance, Nancy, to really get even with this guy. The state calls Nancy Kahn. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you shall give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, God? I do. Please be seated. Did you say it is too late? All right, all right, all right. Uh, Your Honor, I'm sorry. I know this is highly irregular. But I've just been informed by my client that he wishes to change his plea. Objection! Your Honor, please. Counsel, please sit down. Bailiff, will you please escort the jury to the jury room? Miss Kahn, you can have a seat in the gallery. Mr. Ellard. I understand you wish to change your plea to a guilty plea, is that correct? Yes, sir, uh-huh. Well, on the charge of murder of Charlotte Parks, how do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. And on the charge of assault on Nancy Kahn with intent to commit murder, how do you plead? Guilty. Will both counsels please approach the bench? Oh, no. What's wrong? Isn't that good? He's trying to avoid the death penalty by keeping you off the stand. But, uh, I mean, I don't get it, but what does that mean? He probably thinks the judge will go easier on him if he doesn't put you through the ordeal of testifying. Oh, but I want to testify. I mean, I want to tell the jury what he did to Charlotte and me. I know. It doesn't matter. It's his move. He's trying to appear cooperative. The same reason he showed them where he buried the Benson girl. He thinks it'll gain him leniency with the court. After discussion, both parties have agreed to waive the pre-sentence report and to waive the hearing for aggravation and mitigation and for me to proceed with sentencing immediately. Richard Mark Ellard, you have confessed that you willfully did murder Charlotte Parks and that you did assault Nancy Kahn with intent to commit murder. Therefore, it is the sentence of this court that you serve a life term for the murder of Charlotte Parks and 20 years for the assault with intent to murder Nancy Kahn. You shall be remanded to the custody of the Alabama Department of Corrections. This court is adjourned. He's gonna be eligible for parole. Now, how is that possible? But he got life in prison. 
All right, that's it, Elder. Come on, come on, sir. Let's go. Life doesn't mean life. I mean, eventually, even lifers come up for parole. When? Don't worry. We'll get another life sentence in Georgia for the killing there by the time he's even eligible. He should not be allowed to live at all. Nancy! She doesn't want any publicity. Don't you see how important this is to tell your story? What happened to you could happen to anyone. Oh, please. It could happen again! I just want to be left alone. I seen your mug on TV. How'd you get moved from Maximum into this playground? More than like my work. Ain't that sweet? All right, all right, come oh, on. Oh, dear. Honey, you want your braid to fall out? No, but I don't want my hair to fall okay. out either. It's all right, I'm finished. Oh, my gosh. But that's Billy. I know. Okay. Mama, where are my shoes? Where are my shoes? Let your earrings out of the room, Mama. Don't oh, let them leave. Get the door. It's okay. okay. It's all right, darling. Oh, okay. Billy, hi. Hello, Mrs. Scott. Hi, right, come on in. Is Lisa ready? Yeah, she's ready. Come on. Lisa, Billy's here. Please sit down. Oh, thank you, ma'am. You look nice. Thank you. <laughs> Excited about the dance? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, so is Lisa. Hi. <laughs> I, I guess we better go. My brother's waiting in the car. Your brother? I thought your parents were driving you. I don't know. Well, how old's your brother? 19. He's 19? Does he drink? No, ma'am. Are you sure? We should go. I mean, Billy, now you tell your brother. He better have my baby home at 11 o'clock or I'm going to send the police after him, okay? No, I am serious. You tell him that for me, all right? And honey, wipe some of that lipstick Mama! off your face. Goodbye, Grandma. Good night, sweetheart. Kids have a good time. Don't start with me, Mama. You have got to put this behind you. I gotta get ready for Fred. Every time I try to talk to you, you find something else to do. It's my problem, Mama. It's not. It's everybody's problem. You are building a prison, and you're pulling all of us in with you. Until the day... You can forgive Ellard. And I mean forgive him completely. Forgive him in your heart. Forget it, Mom. It's not going to happen. Not until he's dead. We are so pleased to have you here this evening. Cheers. I've been offered another promotion. New York? Yeah. I got a funny feeling of deja vu. Remember how we used to laugh? God, I miss that. I want you to know that I don't regret a minute of this last year. I'm so glad that I was able to be here for you. I only wish I could have helped you more. Oh, but you did. Really, I couldn't have gotten through this without you. I'll always love you. You know, I, I never told you this before. 
going to say yes. the dance. Do friends like your dress? But the music was good. You humiliated me, Mama. I know, darling. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I would never do anything to hurt you. Anything. I love you. You're my baby. I'll get it. Maybe it's Billy. It's probably Fred. Mama, it's for you. I was going to call you. Fred? Are you still a widow, Nancy? Now that is a pity. That must have been your boy answering the phone, huh? And how's your daughter? She must be getting all grown up and developed. Mm -hmm. I bet she looked just like you. Like mama, like daughter. I'm coming for you, Nancy. For you and your kids. Please tell me how in heaven's name the man escaped from maximum security prison. Well, he wasn't in maximum security. They transferred him out to medium security. Well, why'd they do that? I mean, the man murdered two women. Four days ago, he just rolled out the gates in a delivery truck and no one bothered to inform us. He knows where we live. We can't stay here. I need to get in there. What am I supposed to do? Just sit around this dump? This dump is all we can afford. Will you guys shut up? I'm trying to read my book. I'm just so sick of being cooped up in here. Yeah, well, cheer up. Tomorrow we'll move to another motel and you can be sick of being cooped up there too. We can't keep moving forever. Lisa? All right, all right. Who is it? It's your pizza. It's okay. Here, keep the change. Thanks. Put that away. Lisa, darling.
I hate this you. It's horrible. And I still don't have any friends because I'm not in one school long enough to make it. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, why can't we stay in one place for a while? No, it's too dangerous. I'm not gonna be scared of the phone. Hello? The car we found at your place, he stole in Mississippi. And last night we got a call. He was spotted at the Dollar Motel. Oh my God, he's just a day behind us. I don't understand. I mean, we have been so careful. Now, how is it he can find us, but you can't find him? Yeah. The guy is slick. They had him cornered in Mississippi. He still got away. It's just not good enough. Daddy, I want you to take Mama and the kids, and I want you to go to Antilles. Well, how about you, baby? Daddy, I have been running for six months. I'm not running anymore. Now, look, I've got a plan. Are you going to help me? He's left for the day. May I take a message? All right. Okay. All right, fine. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Jordan and Delia. Yeah. Student relish. Now this is how you eat a dog. Yankee. And we've been at this a week. You think Eller's on us? I don't know. He's pretty smart. I hope he's playing her. It works. Hey, Jerry. How's it looking? Same way it's looked for the past six days. West side. All stations clear. Over. Okay. Where's my drink? What am I, a waitress? That's what I thought. I'll be back. No, no. <laughs> Hold the Get one of these. Sure. I'm sorry? Will you spell that, please? Telephone guy, boys. West side. Telephone guy. West side. Stay on it. Don't you lose it now. Look, be careful. I don't want anybody hurt. Uh-huh. Come here, police! Everybody down! Listen! Help, police! <laughs> Maybe you should join a force. Come on now. Say freedom. 
Freedom! Freedom! I can't believe he's old enough to be graduating high school. <laughs> Seems like yesterday I seen the same thing about you. <laughs> You know what's funny about time? It just kind of sneaks up on you. <laughs> Did I tell you I heard from Fred the other day? No. How is he? How is Fred? He's getting married. Yep. To a widow like me. With two children. The right man will come along again. When? Nancy! Oh my gosh. Remember me? I'm Barbara Cannington. Listen, congratulations on your son's graduation. Well, thank you. Um, I was just wondering if I could ask you a question about Ellard. He came all the way to my son's graduation, asked me about Ellard. Boy, you don't give up, do you? How do you feel about Ellard's release from prison? His release? What are you talking about? The police haven't told you? Ellard's been paroled. Damn it, Barbara. I wish you'd get your back straight before you go shooting off your mouth. You're scaring the hell out of her. Are you saying he wasn't paroled? He was paroled here in Alabama. But he had another life sentence in Georgia. That's where he killed the Benson girl. Am I correct, Barbara? Yes. So when he was paroled here, Georgia picked him up. Oh, so, so he's in prison in Georgia. He's in prison. However, the Georgia judge, he made the two sentences concurrent instead of consecutive. And what does that mean? It means that the time Ellard served here in Alabama also counts on his Georgia sentence, which means he's now eligible for parole in Georgia. And if he gets it, he's a free man? That's right. Parole hearings next month. Well, when, when the board hears my story... Pro hearings are closed, Nancy. That's the law. I am sick of the law protecting him. Nancy, would you just let me print your story? I mean, just listen to me. If you just go public with this thing, you will get the people of Alabama behind you. And then you could get Ellard's Alabama parole rescinded. Here's your history, Barbara. There hasn't been one case in this state where parole's been rescinded. There's always a first time. Look what you're doing. You're asking her to make herself and her family more vulnerable. Could you be any more vulnerable than you are right now? Now, going public means you'll be in the spotlight with me. I mean, it'll be on television, in the papers. Your friends are going to know about it. Ellard's gonna know. So I'm not gonna do it unless it's okay with you. Okay. It's long overdue, Mama. Well, I, I just have one question. How are you gonna stand up and talk in front of all those people? Oh my gosh, you're not. I know you do, but I, you no, do no, get no. really nervous. I remember I came to your class. I, I'm outraged that the state of Alabama would parole a, an escapee who, who, who tortured three women and killed two of them. And I call upon the citizens of Alabama to help me in my attempt to, to rescind the parole of Richard Mark Ellen. Here is what the Alabama Parole Board had to say when they let him go. And I quote, there is reasonable probability that Richard Mark Eller will live and remain at liberty without violating the law. And his release is compatible with the welfare of society. We're back with today's guest, Nancy Kahn. You've taken on an incredible task, Nancy. Some would say an impossible task because the state of Alabama has never rescinded a parole. What do you think your chances are? <laughs> well, you never know what your chances are. I just know I'm, I'm not gonna stop until Richard Mark Ellard is locked up in a maximum security prison and the key is thrown away forever. Believe me, letter of acceptance. 
thing. Yeah. I want each and every one of you to do what you can to keep Richard Mark Ellard where he belongs. Yeah. He belongs behind bars. Yeah. <laughs> You're a true blue celebrity. When I bust out of here, I can say I knew you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am proud to announce the formation of Vocal, Victims of Crime and Leniency. Now, through Vocal, we are proposing legislation that requires the parole board to notify victims of hearings and opens those hearings to the public to allow victims to sit at the prosecutor's table during trial and to compensate victims for personal injury and property loss. The Attorney General has promised his full support of these measures and he's also promised to use every power of his office to keep Richard Mark Ellard behind bars in the state of Alabama. I don't think I could ever forgive him, not for what he's done. But hating him just makes me his victim. So I'm fighting back. I'm fighting back, Charlotte. For us. There's an awful lot of people here. Yeah, I had to get a bigger room. Let them all in. It's the new law now, thanks to you. Please come to order. This hearing is convened for the purpose of determining whether the parole of Richard Mark Ellard from the Alabama Department of Corrections shall be rescinded. And it's your testimony that Mr. Ellard offered to pay you $800 to murder Mrs. Kahn? He sure did. Said he wanted to save his butt. Because Miss Kahn there could put him in the chair. But I told him I wasn't no killer. Well, would like to call Nancy Kahn, please. Please, continue, Mrs. Kahn. Well, well then he, he dragged me to the water and, uh, and tried to drown me. He had this, uh, this tight lock on my head. And he kept pushing me down. Well, of, of course, I was fighting, trying to raise up. But, but then I passed out. My heart must have still been beaten because they tell me that uh, that's when he stabbed me twice, just to make sure I was dead. And then he threw me over the embankment. The doctors think that that, that, that fall is, is what pushed the water out of my lungs. They said it was a miracle I survived, but I did.
Well, after some time, I came to, and um, I remember lying there just trying to comprehend what all had happened. I remember the blood and the flies all over. And, uh, and then I remembered Charlotte. Excuse me. And, um, and I was praying silently, oh, please God, please just give me the strength to just get to the top. Just let me get to the top of the hill. And I made it up there. And that's when I found Charlotte's body. He took my cousin, he took my sight, and for a while, he took my dignity. The only thing left now for him to take is my life. But if he gets me, he won't get me hiding in a corner. Because I'm going to be standing up in front of a crowd, fighting for victims. Please, having weighed the considerable evidence in this matter, it is the decision of this board that the parole of Richard Mark Elliott be rescinded and that he be returned to the Alabama Department of Corrections to serve out the remainder of the sentence. This hearing is dismissed. Baby, I'm so proud of you. It ain't over, Mom. It ain't over. I know. Because I'm just getting started. Through Vocal, significant legislation for victims' rights was enacted in Alabama and served as a model for many other states. A Vocal Amendment Thank to the you. Constitution giving victims of violent crime representation and notification throughout the judicial process has now been ratified in 13 states. Unfortunately, in 1991, an 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals restored Ellard's Alabama parole, ruling that his constitutional rights had been violated. Ellard was released from the Alabama penal system and returned to prison in Georgia, where he will be eligible for parole For Charlotte and for all victims of violent crime, the fight goes on. <laughs>